Shalom, beautiful body of Christ, brothers and sisters. I pray that you all are blessed. A <laughs> um, little bit of a tongue twister there. Today is November the 11th, 2024, just coming on today. Um, Father has summoned me to come on and share something very important and crucial in the body of Christ. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on prayer before I say anything else. With the key of David and by the sound of my voice, I place your cloak of invisibility over this communication, over our minds, bodies, hearts, and spirit, and holy Yeshaya's name. Aman. Okay, so body of Christ, I'm just going to jump right into it because I keep getting interrupted as I'm, as I'm recording. So this is very crucial um, for the body of Christ collectively. Okay, now... Father has summoned me to reach out to a particular sister in Christ who did a video. Uh, apparently, this was done about 12 hours ago, and her channel name is called Seek and Ye Shall Find. Well, how very fitting is that channel name? And you'll understand here in just a moment why it is so very significant to the kingdom within. Again, her channel is called Seek and Ye Shall Find find okay and this part well there's another video actually that she has she she actually i didn't notice this before but she titled it surrender all for my kingdom come well this is very fitting this is so very very fitting and divine all right so i'm gonna jump right into this word because father um has had me respond to her now i don't think i've hit send yet so i'm gonna go over um bullet points that father is having me address openly with the body of christ in case that you don't catch it on her video okay so the video that i am uh that i have left the response in and that i'm quoting to you right here and i will also include it in the comments it's called dream sleeper in the house again the video is called dream sleeper in the house and this is through the sister in christ seek and ye shall find again very very fitting you will understand here in a moment as to why okay so brothers and sisters i greet you in the name of holy yeshaya uh, holy yeshaya's name and blood all right let's get started so this is what i have shared with her and again i don't know if i've hit send yet <clears throat> But I will also have this transcript in the comments for you because you want to take notes. Uh, right now, as we're getting closer to end times, um, you are seeing an increase of knowledge, um, knowledge that has been taught to us for nearly five years. Uh, Father did have me extend on multiple occasions to the body of Christ for the body of Christ to join us, to join us to learn about the kingdom within. And at that time, we had no idea that it was going to blossom into literally this gospel of the kingdom, whereas the kingdom, the kingdom is within, will be preached throughout all the nations, and then the end will come. So please, please pay attention to detail, but also stay tuned for the entire uh, portion, because I've only tapped into what Father has uh, requested of me. I... I think I'm about just after the halfway mark on her video and father had me stop there. So this is what I'm sharing with you, the body of Christ. I ask that you take it to prayer. Also, uh, some of you already know about the kingdom within have reached out. They're coming to our light because father has established this for his kingdom. He has set down the groundwork. He, he has placed us in these positions as pioneers for the gospel of the kingdom, okay? And we give him all of the glory. All of the glory be to Father Ahaya. Okay, so let's get started because I don't want to take too long. I do not want to lose you because this is super, super crucial at this hour. All right, so this is what I responded so far to her. I said, Shalom, beautiful sister in Christ. Father Ahaya has been teaching us the great importance of inheriting the kingdom within. Where is the kingdom within, brothers and sisters? It is within. Please read thoroughly as he has summoned me to respond to you with great love. The majority of the body of Christ has overlooked this crucial first step. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. We're going to read this together. 
but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. You must seek first the kingdom. The kingdom is within. You must search within yourself. All right. I put on here, I will collaborate to edify your dream. Again, Father has summoned me to do so, so that we are able to teach the body of the a body of Christ where they need to be at right now, because the word also says that knowledge will increase. You will be running to and fro to get this mana, because we have been learning this again uh, with Father a good almost nearly five years. Okay, now if I haven't mentioned, because again, my recording um, stopped here um, a couple of times, so I got an interruption, even though I have it on silence. So please, please be aware that this is something that Father had me um, invite the body of Christ on multiple occasions from my podium, asking you all to come and join so that we would learn all together, you know, as Father taught us about the kingdom. So please, please be aware of this. Please consider this. Now, you're going to watch her video. I'm going to include it as well um, so that you can watch it. It's very important that you understand it. I'm only to the mid mark, so this is where Father had me stop, okay? Um, so I haven't covered more than half of the, the, um, the dream that she, that she was uh, narrating, right? So the baby, or excuse me, the house of David uh, in her dream represents our temples. He dwells in us. He tabernacles with us. We just celebrated his holy feast day of Feast of Tabernacles, Sukkot. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. Again, the house of David. We have been given the keys to the house of David, written in Isaiah chapter 22, verse 22. Please refer to these scriptures. They're, they're crucial to you learning about the kingdom and who you are, okay? Who you are. You are kings and queens and priests. It is written, you are a royal priesthood. Please start embracing that. Walk in your authority. The key of David is also mentioned in Revelation chapter 3, verse 7 through 8. Now, the baby in her dream is symbolic of the church, the couch, which is typically situated in a living room area, it symbolizes not only the throat, but it also highlights the condition of the heart. Okay? Uh, in Revelation chapter 14, verse 5, it talks about the 144,000. And in their mouth was found no guile. Guile means no lies. For they are without fault before the throne of God. Furthermore, in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Again, these symbolize the throat, the couch, and the living room symbolizes the heart. The kitchen in her dream represents the heart, obviously. Um, the kitchen mentioned here, let's see here. Oh, yeah, so she mentions the kitchen, right? It represents the heart. It is the heart of a home, is the, the, the kitchen and the living room, typically. They're usually side by side, right? So with that in mind, 1 Corinthians 13. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but I do not have love, Pay close attention. This is talking about the heart. I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and I can fathom all mysteries, okay? First Colossians 26 through 27. Very important for each of you to know about the mystery of the kingdom within. And all knowledge. And if I have a faith that can move mountains, but I do not have love, I am nothing. Love fulfills the law. You must love one another. You must love each other. Genuinely. The milk in the dream, it actually symbolizes a couple of things, but in particular, 
<clears throat> to the layout of her dream, it represents a church in infancy, not having increased in knowledge to receive divine mana and mysteries and meat. To level up, go from milk to meat. Okay? In Hebrews chapter 5, verses 13 through 14, for everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. That confirms and reverts back to Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Give me just a second. I apologize. I just pressed on something. Notice how it mentions about righteousness, right? <clears throat> what does it say in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33? But seek first the kingdom within of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. You must take that first step. You must look inwardly instead of looking outwardly. And Father's reminded me of the words he gave me that I shared from my podium about a week and a half ago. Thus saith Father Ahaya, you have looked outwardly and not found. You have looked outwardly and not found. Why? Because the kingdom is within. So let's read this again. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 13 through 14. For everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. For he is a babe. He is an infant. That was the baby in, in her dream. But strong meat belongeth to them that are full of age ready to preach this gospel of the kingdom throughout all the nations, and then the end will come. In her dream, she also emphasized about the dirty sleeper. <clears throat> this represents not having made their garments white by allowing for holy Yeshaya to refine and purge them internally. Transformation begins within body of Christ. Matthew chapter 18, verse 3 says, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom is a realm. Father has had us repeat this over and over. Salvation is is a gift. It is a gift, a free gift from the Lord. The kingdom, to inherit the kingdom, it is a realm. It is a mystery. In 1 Colossians 26 through 27, which he's going to have me look it up, so I'm going to go ahead and do that in obedience. This is very important for your walks. Very, very important for you to understand. In 1 Colossians 26 through 27, the mystery, there's no mystery to salvation. It's, it's a gift. It's not a mystery. The mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but is now disclosed to the Lord's people, the saints, it continues to them. God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Okay. I'm going to conclude here. I will include Queen Esther with Beloved Grace Ministries, the Bible and the Body playlist, uh, which Father has been having us gather all the mana he has granted us, and we have been um, cataloging it there. Um, Queen Esther has been illustrating um, through this playlist, again called the Bible and the Body playlist, how we are fearfully and wonderfully made and why it's so very important um, to be able to inherit the kingdom within, right? So I'm also going to list the 12 priests that have been learning this mana and can edify and bear witness to this for nearly five years. Uh, we give Father Ahaya all of the glory and we pray that this blesses you and those assigned to your kingdom territories. You are responsible to make apostles out of those who come to you and your platform. So very, very important that you take to this mana. Um, firstly, First things first, take it to Father Ahaya, confirm, 
and start on your journey, your kingdom journey to learn about the kingdom because rather we will be going forth preaching this gospel of the kingdom throughout all the nations and the end will come. I bless you with this and just state and declare with the key of David that we come in the name of the Lord and we give him all the glory. We love you so much, brothers and sisters. Holy is Yeshaya. Amen.